It's one thing to tow a boat down the highway on flat ground, but it's an entirely different experience when you're heading through the mountains. That's why we came out here, into the Appalachians, to shoot this segment of the Boats.com Ram Trailering Video Series, so that you would know what's important when it comes to towing in mountainous terrain. The first thing you need to know about, getting started on an incline. Now, I have to admit, that was a lot easier than it might have been because the test vehicle we're using today, this Ram 1500 Outdoorsman, has what they call Hill Start Assist. It detects when your truck is on an incline and keeps it from rolling backwards when you take your foot off the brake. Now, if your tow vehicle does not have Hill Start Assist, you can apply the parking brake, shift into gear, and then, as you build RPM, slowly release the brake. Of course, you shouldn't do that in the real world with your door open, but that tip comes in really handy on steep boat ramps. More importantly, if your tow vehicle doesn't have enough torque, it'll be tough to get going. <laughs> that is, if you can get going at all. Our Ram 1500 gets its torque from a 5.7 liter Hemi. Axle ratio is important too. With this Ram 1500, for example, you can choose a ratio of 3.21, 3.55, or 3.92. A lower ratio gives you better efficiency, but the higher ratio nets more towing power. How much more? Hey, it can make 3,000 pounds or so of difference in your towing capacity. You can see the outdoorsman has no problem with a 5,000 pound boat behind us. Of course, every load and every tow vehicle is different. The bottom line, if your tow vehicle struggles on flatland, don't even think about taking it into the mountains. Going downhill takes special consideration too. Don't constantly ride the brakes or you'll take a serious toll on them. Instead, use burst braking. Depress the pedal firmly for a second or two. Release it, wait a few seconds, then depress again. At the same time, you can bleed off speed by downshifting your transmission. Passing with a boat in tow takes a bit of pre-planning. First off, you need plenty of extra space because you won't accelerate as quickly as normal. Start building speed before you change lanes and remember that as you complete the passing, you'll need to use your side view mirrors to determine when it's safe to slide back over. Serious tow vehicles, like this Ram, have serious towing mirrors. Now, if your tow vehicle does not have mirrors like this, you're gonna have to buy some aftermarket add-ons. Leaving it in drive when you're stopped can cause the transmission to heat up. Never use the gas pedal instead of the brake to keep from rolling backwards. Remember folks, you're towing a boat. Be patient and courteous and try not to inconvenience the other motorist. After all, you're the one who's about to arrive at the lake and have a rocking good time. Well folks, I hope your next tow through the mountains goes smooth as silk. And I hope this video has been a help. Don't forget you can learn a lot more about towing by watching the rest of the Boats.com Ram towing video series. Have a good one.